Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while uh, since I uploaded, um, but uh, yeah, I got one for y'all today. Uh, today we are going to be replacing the U-joints on the prop shaft of this Polaris Ranger. That will be that drive shaft right there, those two U-joints on it. They are very notorious for going out. I have to do them on a pretty much every Polaris I get when they come in. Uh, so I'm gonna go over this too. What I recommend taking the skid plate off. It does make it easier. I already did that. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. So first, you can um, the 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 fastest way in theory, but I don't ever find it faster, is um, to unbolt. There's four bolts right here on the bottom of the div. Um, to undo those four. And then there's a little pin right in here. See that little that little pin uh, right there. You gotta hammer that out. But this is the problem that always takes me the longest is trying to hammer that pin out to um, to get the drive shaft out. And it puts a lot of stress on that differential bearing and all that. So um, what I like to do is take the front bumper off, pull both axles out and unbolt the diff and slide the whole unit right out the front which is what we're going to do because i need to replace this wheel bearing anyways so i'm going to have to take the axle out anyways so not going to be a big deal for me uh but let's go ahead and get started uh for the for the front bumper here um you just need to undo these two these three as i hold it four fingers and then uh this bolt right here and this one on the other side so I'm going to get all set up and we'll go ahead and time lapse doing that real quick because that's relatively uh, easy. So let's go ahead and do that. I right, got the bumper off. Mine had two more bolts right here because mine has a winch plate on it. Yours might also. Forgot to mention that. Uh, you can see the diff a lot easier now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this get this taken out. So um, go ahead and take the wheels off next. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out because I think everyone knows how to take a wheel off. So I'll be back in a second. All right, uh, I got the wheels off. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the axles out. Um, there's a few different ways you can do this, uh, but I'm just gonna do it this way. This is the way I'm gonna do it. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily always choose a specific way for a reason, but, um, I just like, I just kind of, well, I shouldn't say that, but I do like, uh, I do prefer this way, as long as you have the, uh, you know, the patience, but, sorry, I'm having trouble getting this egg pack on here, okay, and this is a 13 millimeter, and I think it does have a nut, yeah, it does have a nut on the back. Actually, might be a standard bolt now that I think about it. So, once that's loose, you should just be able to either slide it or you might have to hammer, hammer that out. But then now you'll be able to. You'll be able to pull on the axle. I might have to get a pry bar and kind of pry it out of the diff a little bit. But uh, here, let me grab that and we'll try that. All right, here, I'm going to turn it off real quick. All right, here, I'm going to restart the camera. So I'm just gonna get in here, kind of put a little pressure. Not a ton because I don't want to break the case. I'm gonna do that and then pull on the outside.
to get another pry bar. Sometimes if it's a little stubborn, you can kind of put one on the top and one on the bottom here. And pry at the same time. Alright, so I went ahead to take this side off because I need to do that wheel bearing. And um, I finally got this axle out. I just sprayed a little WD 40 on there and it came right out. So, next step, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove this vent line. We're gonna follow this wire up and disconnect it. It should be right up here on the side. And then we're gonna remove those four bolts. I think they're 15 millimeters. And after that, this whole assembly should just slide right out. So I'll get you all set up and we'll do that. All right, so I got the bolts out, got it disconnected. So you should be able to pick up the disc. I'm just gonna rotate it over. That is out, and uh, let me show you this little pin. Um, go ahead and start letting it soak really good. Um, so you'll need to get a piece of wood and hammer out this pin. This is the pin that's a really pain. That's why I do it like this. It's also a good time to replace your seal if you need to reseal the diff. Um, very easy to replace the seals on these players. I mean, you might have to lubricate that too if, uh, if it's stuck on there. Or what I use sometimes is an air chisel. And that usually takes it right off. Let me um, let me get a time lapse set up here and uh, I'll go ahead and take that pin out of there. cut out but um you have to take these little clips off They're, they go right inside of there you see that one so you just get a screwdriver and you hammer it out here i'll show you real quick so you just get a screwdriver and hammer them out sometimes they'll break not a big deal you get shaking new ones in your with your new u-joint spray it down and you'll either have to hammer these out or if you have uh, an O'Reilly's or somewhere you can rent a tool you can get one of these uh, ball joint presses and um, they work really good here let me show you Or something. Kind of give this a twist. 
and they pop out, and the needle berries went flying everywhere. Uh, and then now you'll go ahead and uh, you just go and kind of tap it down a little bit, make sure it's going straight, and then. Um, To be able just to kind of wiggle the U joint out. I have to give it a few taps. Zip it back out of there. If you want to put your uh, grease fitting in right away or not, but I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I guess I'll do something like that. Yeah. 
that on the ground, give it a few taps. Make sure it moves freely and then you can go ahead and put your little clips on. Um, I have to drive it. Yeah, see I'm gonna have to hit this one in a ball pin hammer works pretty good. Usually just get the screwdriver and tap it the rest of the way. And then we'll do this side. I'm have to hit it back. Just like that. time lapse and we'll finish up the rest of them.
we got that kind of sitting in there like that. We have to come back around to the back here. And we're going to have to slide the drive shaft onto the transmission. So let's see. Like that. And then you can go ahead and push to the disc to the Last but not least, there is four. This wire back up to the top here. And reconnect the four wheel drive. And uh, last but not least, go ahead and crawl under and make sure the drive shaft is not hitting anything. Make sure the shaft is slid up. Mine looks good. And we'll keep going from there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the diff and get y'all reset up to reassemble this side. All right, so I got the front and back together. All I got to do is put the tires on, but I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. So I know that was a pretty long process. Like I said in the beginning, you can try to hit that pin out to get the drive shaft out, but um, it is kind of hard to do. If you can do it, then do it because it might save you some time. But um, I'd, I'd recommend doing it like I did. Uh, I mean, the U-joints on these things, they do suck to do. Uh, I mean, every time I do it, I always have some kind of problem or something like that but um yeah if you have any questions please ask below sorry it wasn't a real detailed video but it's uh kind of hard to work and record at the same time sometimes so all right well thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one